Welcome to the beautiful world of aquascaping. Guys, today I present you the biggest master that I know alive and he is an IAPLC winner and he's the closest thing to the nature aquarium spirit that I know. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Dave Chow. I am Dave Chow from Hong Kong and first time to be in Hungary, the green aqua. All right, so what are you going to do today? Using the stone to make a stone skate. In Japanese, they are calling Iwagumi. Where's your inspiration coming from? I think most probably is from uh, the past work from ADA, Amano-san. So this time I will doing a Eastern Dragon style into the stone skate, the kind of story behind for the aqua skate itself. How many sketches did you make? Easy for me. It's only one, one or two sketches. <laughs> you always do the sketches first, or it sometimes happens that the stone gives you the inspiration. Basically, I have searching around, and then I just remember. This is a special tank which is drilled in three places, two suction sides, and you have one outlet, and we basically have one external filter underneath it. Mr. Adam, can you help me? Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Parcella from Poland. Basically, um, I think in Europe, this guy is very expertise for the uh, stone making. I think the most popular, he will help me very much. Today's the Husky material is from Adam. The nickname is Poland Manhattan Stone. <laughs> <laughs> the famous Frodo Stone. Uh, we are adding some power sand at the bottom. This part is mostly is the sand bath. So you can actually add further height to the tank by having a very yes. thin layer. Do you always add these additives? For client tanks, yes, but uh, for the shop, not. There is some technique to make the soil more healthy. And what is that technique? Always change water and using the suck to uh, suck out the dirt from the soil. The Power Sound Special comes yeah, yeah, with yeah. a lot of these already. Is it helpful to add more on top of the Power Sound Special or are we okay with just Power Sound Special? Get a big house, you need more servant to help. So. More, you see that more people to help, then the, 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 the place will be more clean. So this is the, not the money, I'm not <laughs> consider the money. <laughs> is Felipe here? What we wanted to show you, Felipe, that uh, the biggest master in the aquascaping that I know is putting in the sand first. I was not expecting this from you. <laughs> How you should place the sand is the last thing. Look, it's already mixed up. <laughs> this is a personal style. <laughs> I prefer to you add the sand on the last minute. Thank you you didn't see that. my works before. I have some technique over there. <laughs> Go back to your kitchen. <laughs> no, if you need something, just scream. The idea is coming inside. So uh, my experience is uh, whenever you walk, whenever you travel, just seeing around. Because the tank is not so high, we are just adjusting the angle of the stone placement. Save you some money because Frodo Zone is very... Is it expensive, Adam? <laughs> no, it's really cheap. <laughs> <laughs> The 
last workshop at Green Aqua. <laughs> In the meanwhile, you can see that Dave has introduced the second rock in the background. Most people, I think, they would put in big rocks to support, but then they would lose the size of the big rock by just using another big rock right next to it. Which is really genius about this cape is that he is trying to support it with as small rocks as possible. Are you going to use some epiphyte plants, mosses, or leave the rocks sort of naked? Mostly foreground plants. Some moss will be on the rock surface. The right corner will be some uh, high-growing uh, stone plants. I'm just testing the stability of the stone. Do you like to test the layout with the actual equipment? When you uh, put in the water, the soil is getting wet and then they will slightly falling down. So uh, you must wetten the soil at the wall and then no other movement. So after that, you can fill it with water. That is supporting it. And also they are hidden in this serious stone is the supporting. I want to make a triangle layout. So this to be much more higher. Sketch after you seen the stones or before? Adam sent me some photo of his selection in a uh, palette, so I just refer the photo. I have a little idea, and basically I know the stone uh, very much, so that I just create the sketches. Then I believe that I can find a good stone right here. Right now, <laughs> <laughs> this is a square, so that. It's a very good opportunity to make a much more layers layout. One layer there, second layer, second the big rock, third layer that, and the fourth layer is down there. Because and the fifth layer will be something else. When you enter the gallery, you will see the tank from this corner. What Dave has explained to us is that you want that side of the tank to be nicely visible from the entrance. Because this is designed to be the front, so that the, um, the plant size should be much more bigger. So I will use the Monte Carlo, and then after that we'll be using some uh, Cuba, because the leaf size is much more smaller. When you uh, observe the tank, in this way, so the depth should be much more deeper. The depth of this tank is really amazing. Absolutely so many angles and so many details already. So do you change the water more often to have a stable soft water then with these rocks or it's not a problem? There will be uh, the algae cover the stone so that the uh, whatever the calcium and some hardened water material will not be coming out so regularly. For example, this kind of space must be putting some small stone pebbles. Just using the small pebbles and then uh, tight some uh, riccia on this. Ricardia or Riccia? We hate Riccia. So I, I see that you have you haven't Do you use Riccia? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now basically the uh, uh, hardscape is finished. Just furnish the foreground and then the back work of the layout. Can you tell us the name of the scape? You you can ask the people what is the appropriate name on it. Because okay, so what do you guys think? You can shout any names. Name of the friend. Mordor. Our American friend from Seacamp just said Mordor are there. <laughs> we are all afraid to name it, Dave. You have to give the name. I give the name Great Wall. What about maintenance? So when you do maintenance, how do you feel? Urge. Quick. <laughs>
<laughs> What's your favourite part of aquascaping? Is it the planning, the planting, watching it grow, photography? When we are doing the scape, we take a photo by the phone and then every changes just based on the phone. So I have many friends after aquascaping, they turn it to be a photographer. <laughs> yeah. What kind of a GH do you have in your aquarium water? Basically, I will try to control at the uh, 120. Yeah, we have the same. Because uh, as my observe, if the tank is getting worse, they will come up to the 200. Then the LG will coming up. So I think this is a good addition for the Green Aqua Gallery because most of the layouts are very peaceful and this one has a very strong dynamic. What colors do you want to have? In Chinese, there's a colloquial say that um, when you're drawing a dragon, the last thing is adding the eyeball. I can see that you left the base layer fertilizing substrate, basically the power sand visible. And it's easier to explain to your client that I have used the power sand. Okay, so you forgot. <laughs> no, I have forgot to tell you, but this is for the commercial reason. <laughs> I have the helper for planting. May you ask uh, Peter? No, don't ask Philippe. <laughs> <laughs> what I miss? <laughs> We're just planting, don't worry about it. Do you have um, any favorite material for uh, make um, a new hardscape? Only focus on the uh, idea. I have created. Then we, I would decided to use the stone or driftwood or combine together. And we started planting the Monte Carlo. I have so many experience to using different kind of tools, but uh, the ADA mostly is the best one. Do you want to plant the stem plants later? Yes, fill up the water easier to plant the stem plants. The dedication and patience you have towards stuff is absolutely something we need to learn. I think this is not to learn, this is suffer. <laughs> yeah. For me, it's also a suffer. Yeah. Not doing the planting job. <laughs> so as you can see, I'm in the cabinet now. Uh, we have an Eheim 2280. There's the light. There's the master right next to it. I'm also a light. to determine whether everything is going according to the plans. This is the plan, and this is the hardscape. You think it's the same? Michael Zorn China. So, look like the, some kind of the... Hair. Hair of this dragon. When you are putting the water inside, the water level is coming and also the soil is dropping. When they are not getting so uh, wet, then the soil will be moving so that they will hazardous to the placement of the rock. Can you do anything if during the filling procedure the um, rocks uh, starts moving? Must be try and error. So I have so many error at the front, mm -hmm. at the before, so you must try yours. And then after that, you can have your solving methods. So we're selecting the plants now. Dave has just told Victor which plants he likes.
Ceratopteris and Rotala green. Aqua conditioner. So what do you use this for? After eight hours, they will turn it to crystal clean. <laughs> Thank you so much, Master, for being here with us and teaching us a lot of things, actually. I really admire this one. Hope that uh, is useful for you. Absolutely, it is. It's, it's the best tank in the gallery so far. Where's Felipe? <laughs> Can I have it? Sure, it's for you. First of all, please subscribe if you didn't do so yet. Please hit the bell button to get notified. This is very important or hit the like button if you like this video and Dave Chow's work. And we're gonna show you how it looks in a couple of days. So you're gonna be able to see some progress by the end of this video. Until next week, goodbye. Bye.